today I'm going to finally explain how to properly play Reiko and play him like a pro. But yeah, this guy's going to be focusing on the Darius cameo. I mean, he has a couple good cameos that are out there, but uh, mostly focus this one on Darius because it grants him the ability to combo command grab, which is pretty big to begin with. He's a strike throw character, hybrid grappler zoner. He has a really good projectile that has a pretty decent vertical hitbox. You can jump this projectile, but sometimes people get clipped. And then when you EX it, he throws even more stars that do more damage to hit mid. So my game plan a lot of the time with Reiko is to kind of zone. While I'm zoning, I'm simultaneously, you could tell at the bottom left, I'm building meter for throwing it. I'm building meter for them getting hit. And I'm also building meter for them blocking it. I'm usually really just doing this so that I can build a whole bunch of meter. And then if they get hit along the way or chip down along the way, that's a plus, right? I occasionally mix up zoning with running in and, you know, scooping. They're losing health for trying to get in, and then by the time they finally do get in, I'm just this badass character that can just command grab you and full combo you. His best buttons, a lot of the buttons that I use, buttons, strings, I use this button a lot. That's my footsie button. I use down four. Back three is the king, the king with punisher. I like sticking this button out and seeing if it clips something. If I see it clip a leg or a button, or if I just see them get hit, I hit confirm and a knee. Full combo. If I don't see a hit, I just cancel it. The only thing that this button is weak to is people jumping. But guess what? Reiko has stand four, which is a busted anti for people who like to take to the skies to avoid this button or this button. So they jump. Guess what? Full combo. That's simple. So a lot of people, when they're trying to, obviously, when they're trying to come in, they're not blocking low, right? They're just barging in like this. And then when I see that, I hit him with down four. And then guess what? Once my down four hits, you gotta guess. Because guess what? Down four plus 15 on hit. So if they get hit by that, you can jail stand one. So if they try to if they try to read the command grab, they're not. You have to duck this command grab because the meterless one is a high. The ex one is a mid. If I hit them with down four, they immediately have to guess. But how do you condition people to just sit there and take this right? The reason why I framed out is so crucial to playing a grappler is because you have to understand hit advantage. And anytime I'm in this like little range right here, I'm I'm some I'm doing a lot of down fours. I'm doing a lot of I'm, I'm trying to scout with punishers with back three. If I see a down four hit, we're in there. I'm immediately following up a down four with dash up one two. You know, we could do forward one two. And then once you get people scared of this shit right here, once people get hit by enough of these, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna then you can start doing this type of shit. Nobody's ever going to sit here and let you grab them if you haven't conditioned them to sit here for this. To also get somebody to sit here to take the command grab, overhead, bro. Overhead is huge. Once you get somebody, these aren't these aren't small either. These are 9% every time you hit them. Ow, 9%. You hit them with three of these, guess what? That's nine. That's 18. 27. 36. So you can't just get hit by these like all willy nilly thinking, oh, I'm finna just take that. That's not a full combo. It's not a full combo at least. Yeah, okay. If they block it, negative six has a little bit of pushback and you're not punishing me anyway. And then by the time they finally start blocking, you can play this character and have fun, but you have to also be okay with being wrong because sometimes people will just sit there and no matter how much you condition them, they're gonna jump. They're gonna not block. You could just sit here down one on hit every time, check them every time. Combos are on deck everything hurts like they're getting full combo punished for jumping and then guess what they jump they jump your shit one time when you went for the command grab two bars gone that's expensive and if you're okay with losing two bars in the hopes of getting 40 or 50 you know then this might be the character for you see that's the problem with darius is since he has to use his resources to be scary you're either gonna not have bar to break or you're not gonna want to break because you realize once you break you're not gonna have that threat of, you know, scooping somebody for half life. Reiko being a grappler character, he doesn't actually have any tick throws. And if you don't know what a tick throw is, normal on block, and then being able to special cancel a normal on block into a command grab, and it actually connects. So, you know, he can't do that, he can't do that. You know, he can't do anything. I've tested it all. He has zero ticks. We're gonna talk about command grab a little bit. Like I said, it's a high 11%. It gives you zero oki. Zero Oki. You're not getting no Oki. This is where Striker is really strong for Darius because you can actually call Striker's grenades and it gives him Oki now. But that's why I use Tactical Takedown because it gives me better Oki because I'll show you. A little bit less damage. The other one did 33. This does 32, but I can meet you with 4 1.
And then once I get scared of the forward one, then I scoop. And it side switches. You can't choose side off tactical takedown though. That's the only problem with tactical takedown. How to time Darius with command grab. You can mess it up in the heat of the moment in a tournament setting where you need this shit to hit to win. I've done it. I've dropped it once. I didn't get all the damage, right? That's what happened to me. I mistimed him. I got 11%. No Oki. I lost Darius. I no longer had Darius for the rest of the round. Number one key is to make sure that when you hold command grab, you stay same side. You have to roll backwards on the side that you were on. I'm going to time the Darius call perfect, but I'm going to not hold back. Doesn't work. It'll never work. But when you hold same side. Ow. Happens. It works every time. The window to call Darius is pretty flexible. You don't want to call him too early because if you call him too early, he's going to come from the wrong side. You want him to come from the opposite side like this. If you call him too early, he'll come from the left side like that. And then he just won't do what you want him to do at all. I like to call Darius right when I'm about to dunk his head, like right there. And right there. There. So mid screen, the starter doesn't really matter as long as it starts grounded. Most of the hits that I get on the ground start with this. They start with back three. Let me get him off block. They start with this. They start with this. I, I keep saying this. Back three. One, two. Forward one, two. Those are the hits you're really going to get. Those are the three main starters you're going to get. And they all get lead to the exact same combos. For the sake of the video, I'm going to do one, two. One, two into run knee. It's going to be boom, boom. And how you do run knee is you just hold back and he just does it. And then you're going to do three, four. So three, four. You're going to do one, two knee. Three, four. So one, two, knee, three, four, tactical takedown. 25 gives you Oki. But if you want to stay same side for whatever reason, you can uh, you can do stand three command grip. But then you're left with no Oki. Now we're going to spend a bar. Same combo. Instead of doing stand three tactical takedown like the other combo, you're going to do stand three, four into EX slide. So you're going to do uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, slide, and then I do stand three tackle takedown. This puts them back in the corner. It gives me Oki. I could do forward one, two. So I could do three, four, stand three, tactical takedown. Right here, you can do meaty forward one. If you got them conditioned, you can do scoop. And then call Darius. And then do the same bullshit. And you can interchange how you want to end it. If you're okay with having no Oki, having no Oki is not a big deal. Because guess what? You return to neutral and you can start a zoning. Say you want to cash out on damage. Say you want to do, okay, I want the damage. No Oki. You just start running away, throwing projectiles. You could do that too. Now I'm going to put him, put us in the corner and I'm going to do his meterless route in the corner. If we're going to stay meterless, I like to do 4-3-4. Four, four. So 4-3-4 four, four looks like that. The combo starter stays the same. 4-3-4. Four, four. Command grab. I decide to give up the Oki for the sake of staying same side. If you want to spend a bar, here's the combo. Well, it's actually the same fucking combo as the other one. You can call Darius and pretty much make all these same combos hit for 40. Well, we're going to keep it meterless. This is meterless. I like to do this a lot for Oki. That is 350 meterless with Oki. The only downside is now you no longer have Darius, so you no longer have that threat of the full combo off command grab. So now we're going to spend the bar. Stand 3 command grab. Call Darius. Stand 3 EX slide. Stand three tackle takedown. That's 40, and you get Oki. You could just choose to meaty. You could choose to command grab again. That's the mind game. But most of the time, I like to keep my combos meterless, so I'll do something like this, right? Boom, boom, boom. And then guess what? Now I'll scoop you. And then I'll keep that combo. I won't extend it. I'll just do three, four, take, take down. 40. So I just did what? 25 into 40. Look at his health. Two touches. Boom, boom, boom. Right here. I can forward one. I can overhead. Boom. That's nine. Boom. That's nine. Command grab. Come here, nigga. Huh. You feel me? Bow, bow, bow. Let's talk about anti air combos. You want a special cancel stand for into knee. How long you decide to do the run depends on how far away you anti air them. So if they jump at me from right here, like if I do it right away, it whiffs. You see that? If I do it too fast, it just doesn't work. But if I hold it a little bit, it connects. And then you can get some shit like that. That's pretty. That's a good amount of damage for jumping at me. You can extend this even more. So you can do stand three. Call Darius. Stand three EX slide. 
stand through command grab. Like, that's... Somebody hits hit for 36 for jumping. Chances are, if they jump again, they're a moron. When I hit a stand four from, like, max distance, at that point, depending on how long you had to let the, knee, the, the run rock, you don't get stand three, whatever combo I was just doing. If I hit it from all the way over here, you can do down one into tactical takedown. You can do down one command grab so you can get the full combo. I'm going to show you the, the Fatal Blow routes off Command Grab. I'm going to show you the Fatal Blow routes off the combo. And then I'm going to show you the entire combo Fatal Blow route. So any hit, same combo. Keep Command Grab. Call Darius. Stand 3 X Slide. Stand 3 Fatal Blow. This should do like 60. Two. So this is for guessing wrong. Let's say they read the Command Grab and you just didn't do it. You got 61, but you spent three bars, cameo, and fatal blow. You better win that round if you spend all that. You get that same combo, but it's just a little bit different off raw command grab. So you can do EX command grab, call Darius, stand 3-4 EX. You can do stand 3-4 EX slide. Dash up, stand 3 fatal blow. That should do like 62, I think. So this is damage for getting command grab. And I decide to spend the, the house. 62, three bars, fatal blow, and cameo. You can still get these same combos without having three bars. All you need is one bar and fatal blow. Meatless command grab. Stand three, four, EX slide. That's the one bar. Dash up, stand three, fatal blow. All you need is fatal blow and one bar. And then let's do anti air combos. Call Darius. Stand three, EX slide. Stand three, fatal blow. Don't jump. But that is pretty much it for the Reiko guide. I cannot think of anything else. We covered Antires. We covered the whole thing. Everything else at that point is just matchups. You guys got to figure that out on your own. <laughs> I gave you the sauce. You just got to apply the sauce.